Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the best budget backpacks to run right now in Escape from Tarkov. I got a comment a few days ago saying, what's the best budget backpack? And that's what this video is going to be about. But I'm going to give you a few answers. It's not going to be one definitive answer because some people will want different things and have different play styles. Some people don't need a super large backpack because maybe they only play interchange and go hole in the wall. Some players might want a giant bag and the lowest and cheapest price they can get on it. So let's hop into it. Make sure you're leaving a like and of course make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Let's start at the lowest end for everybody who really doesn't need a super big backpack but they want to have one in a raid. You might be thinking well we're probably going to be going to Ragman right? Well actually we're not. We're going to go to fence and this actually includes the entire flea market as well. We're going to go to fence level one because I am max scav rep so you know, I do have a few extra options in here occasionally. We're going to go to fence level one. And we're going to scroll the entire way down. The best bang for your buck is right here. It's the duffel bag. Right now, fence has 248 of them for 2,698 rubles. This is an insane deal considering that you're getting 12 spaces for under 3k. He has a couple other options in here too. The army bag, which is only eight slots. The Taurus bag, which I think actually might be 12 as well. It is. So you have the Taurus bag, but it's 5K. And then you got the T bag, which is only nine slots. So when it comes to the true best budget bag, it is 100% the duffel bag without a doubt. And I'm also going to show you here, I'm assuming most of you guys have the flea markets. When it comes to the cheapest backpack, you have the sling, the tea bag, you got the army bag, um, and then you got some MPSSs here. I didn't know these were this cheap. This isn't bad. I'm not gonna lie. What are these 16s? Yeah, 16 here for 9k. That's not bad, but I'm still gonna have to give it to the duffel bag. You know, 3k for a 12 slot. You just can't go wrong with that. Now, the next one is gonna be for everybody who has fence rep six, which isn't going to be a lot of people, but fence sells pilgrims all the time for about 46,000 rubles. Pilgrims are really great for night raids. Now, if you're doing like a woods raid in the daytime, a customs raid in the daytime, I probably wouldn't recommend a pilgrim. But if you are doing night raids literally on any map and interchange is probably the best one to fill up a pilgrim, then running a bright blue backpack really does not matter at all. So when it comes to fence, if you have max scav rep, he sells them a lot in here, so be on the lookout. When it comes to Ragman level 1, you really don't have any options. There's nothing in here I would recommend. If you have Ragman level 2, he has a few more options for you. He has the T20 and also has the drawbridge. Now, the T20 you can pretty much find way cheaper than 42k if you have the flea market, which you should. Right now, 39,000, you get a little bit off there. I believe it's a 25 slot. Yes, it is. So the T20, it's a solid bag. It's not great. It's not bad for the price. If you can find them like 35K range, you know, it's definitely one that I could recommend you pick up. And then same with the drawbridge. You know, you're at about 40,000 rubles here and it's going to be the same size, a 25 slot. And on the flea market, uh, you're not going to see nearly as many as the T20 because scavs commonly spawn with T20s. So when it comes to just, you know, cheap backpacks, the drawbridge is good if you can't get a cheaper T20, but 25 spaces, definitely not bad at all. The last and final backpack that I'm going to recommend is only for the chads, the ones who don't care about spending a shit ton of money, and that's going to be a Beta 2. I'm always going to recommend Beta 2s. They're one of the better backpacks that you can actually purchase on the flea market, and because you get one as a task reward, and I believe you can find Beta 2s on some raiders, uh, there is a fair amount of them on the flea market, and they're about 70,000 rubles. They're going to be a 30 slot. Here's the container size for you. You know, 30 slots, 70k. If you're running armor class 5 and 6, th there's really no reason for you to not run a beta 2. If you're going to be kitted out, go with the best backpack as well. Um, you know, but by then, you're probably going to have some of those traders leveled up, and you can afford some of the bags from the traders. But me right now, I think I'm level 24, 25, and beta 2 is probably one of the better options that I can choose from when it comes to traders, flea market, and fence all combined. So, guys, that's going to be it for the budget bags. I gave you a few options that I think are the best bang for your buck. And given certain situations, hopefully you found yours in this video here today. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you're subscribing. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.